In this video, I'm going to describe the different types of screen spline. There's actually about 50 different types. Uh, one screen guy said, I was baffled by the subject, so I did a lot of research on it. But um, There's, uh, I'm only going to be discussing the vinyl type plastic type or the flat the flat spline type you can see the ending on there I'm going to describe all this in this video um, like I say there are metal splines rope splines T type splines there's uh, this problem there may even be hundreds of kind of splines <laughs> but I'm covering the common ones found in the um, like a Home Depot or something uh, so I have in this video the first kind is 1.25 and one a point one four inch and then 0.125 is 32 centimeters equal 0 0.2 32 centimeters equal the 0.14 inches 0.36 centimeters equivalent and then I have 0.16 inch which is 0.41 centimeters and then I have 0.175 inch which is 0.44 centimeters. And then I have 0.19 inch, which is 0.48 centimeters. And then I have 0.220 inch, which is 0.56 centimeters equivalent. Like I say, I have the flat spline. Here's the package for that. There's only one size flat spline that's commonly used on a lot of lanai's here in Florida. There are foam splines. I'll go over that too. I don't have any of those to show you. They only come in 500 foot rolls. Now your best bet when you go to get more spline, if you're gonna when you put in your screen, you uh, can type screen. You know, just your regular front porch screen. There's a lot of different kind of screens, too. Some of them are insect repellent. Some of them are keep out the sun better. Some of them are animal, animal proof. Just depends on what you want. So you, you can't just go by one type of spline. You have to ideally you always want to bring in your sample spline from your uh, screen you took off. But just remember, it's going to shrink a little bit from the weather and stuff. Um, let's look at my notes here a minute. So, there are gray colors too, and white maybe, but I got all black here. Uh, but I'm going to show you something important that maybe some other people don't show you. Uh, for your 0.125 inch spline, you, that's about the width of two pennies. So if you take two pennies together, stack them on top of each other, that's about the width of the one point of the point one two five inch. Uh, for the point one four, it's about the width of two nickels. So if you stick it in your slot, most people don't have a micrometer or a gauge to tell them what width is. It. So your uh, your 0.16 is about the width of three dimes. When you stack it up on the table, the height of that is going to be about the width of three dimes. Your 0.175 is going to be a stack of a quarter, a nickel, and a, and a penny. If you stack all those together, that's about the, the width. So you can stick it in your screen slot. Of course, you might want it a, bit, a little bit bigger or smaller, depending on you want it to be tight, but not too tight. But you gotta take into account the width of the screen. So 
or the point one nine. I got it as two nickels and a penny. That's about how thick that spline is. For a point two two zero inch, it's about the width of three nickels together. So you just take the height of those three nickels, that's about the width of the point two two. The flat spline only comes in one size. I'm going to discuss that a little further. Uh, let's see, the foam spline you can buy at Home Depot, but you have to buy it at 500 foot rolls and it's very expensive. But um, some YouTube people and other people on the internet use it. Sometimes it's a lot easier to put in than the vinyl. It collapses easier, spreads out easier, but maybe. I don't know if it lasts as long though. But, anyways, the size is in the Home Depot website. Uh, the manufacturer's prime line is 0.16 inch, 0.18 inch, 0.145 inch, and 0.27 inch. Hopefully I'm not moving that around too much. You might want to re research that. Now I'm going to go with a flat spline a little bit. Some diagrams on that. Very confusing spline. It's not the only reason why I came up with this video. I've put in a lot of screens, but I ran across this flat type spline and it was just, just baffling. Okay. So. Flat type bead spline is not really flat. You would think, okay, they call it flat, so both sides would be flat. I'll try to put it into the camera so you can see it. See it better. Yeah, it's hard to get a good angle on that. But if you look at it, one end's one end's rounded. I'm gonna show you in a, a picture diagram. One end's kind of flat. So it looks like this picture here, basically. It's flat. They call it flat because this bottom part's kind of flat, but it's not even really totally flat there. Um, like I say, it's only one size. Now, this is the biggest trick of them all. You would think the slot you're putting the flat spline into would have equal sides when you slip in that spline. That's 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 wrong. The correct way, it, it, it's it, this is might be exaggerated drawing, but one side of where you're going to stick in the spline is real deep, and the other side's shallow. So where you what you have to do, when the the rounded part of the spline is going to be facing you. So let me draw a picture of a face here. So when it's correctly installed, you're going to be looking at the rounded side, even though it kind of does look flat. But the whole major trick is you've got to put sorry, you got to put the, the the flat spline in the deep groove first. This bottom part here. So put the flat spline in the deep groove first, and then you're going to take your tool and push. Uh, let's see this way. And you're going to push in that spline with the concave end of this roller. I'll show you that in a minute. And, and then, so your final drawing, your final result is going to be it's going to be flat like that with a rounded side out. So, so here's a picture of your screen. If you if you want to think of it in three dimensions, the route. The rounded side is going to arch, arch over. You're going to be looking at the rounded side, not the flat side. So that's real important. Um, each of the packages is not really helpful. On the back, it has an actual size of the spline right there, but it, that's not really that helpful. Um, so, 
the tools. If you're using a round spline, you might want to consider buying this tool. You thread the spline up into this part, and then whichever one has the, uh, like the groove one, concave, I think they call it, the groove end, the spline will go in here, then you wrap it around here, and you roll the spline into this, the screen itself. This video isn't meant to show you how to put on a screen. But the one, the one that has a rounded edge, you can, before you put in your spline, you're going to push your screen into the groove with the rounded edge. And then you can use, this thing's called a screen mouse, I guess, for this brand anyways. Uh, probably most people have this simple one, which has the same kind of rollers. One's rounded edge. It might be kind of hard to see. Uh, this is the rounded edge one. And then the other side, that's where you want to roll in your spline if you have rounded spline. Or if you have flat spline, it does the flat spline too. So I hope that helped you out. Uh, um, there's many other different diameters. Uh, one guy made a good point though, um, if you're going to put on spline, you might want to do it in warmer weather if you have an option. If, if you try to do it in 45 degree weather, this vinyl is kind of hard and it might not be as pliable. Uh, well, and that's where the foam rubber spline can come in, but it, it's expensive. I talked to three professional screen places and nobody even heard of the foam spline. I talked to the Home Depot person about foam spline which they sell on the Home Depot website but they don't actually sell at the store he didn't know about foam spline so it's out there um, one of the guys on the internet shows how he repairs the foam spline but if, uh, if you like this video please subscribe I got a lot of other videos uh, hit the like button hope it cleared up a few problems with the uh, screen spline thank you God bless you